Hi everyone, it's Donna. We're going to be doing a little training tonight on PicMonkey. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to create just a simple Facebook timeline cover for your business page. So this is my completed one. I am going to go out, open up a new tab, and I'm going to go to PicMonkey.com. PicMonkey is a free website that you can create your own graphics. There is a paid version that you can do as well called Royale where you can get some more fonts and some more graphics. I don't find that that's really necessary. I think it's about $30 a year. Um, so what we're going to do tonight is we are going to design and if you go down to blank canvas and click on that we are going to design a Facebook cover. So that's going to bring you into the design screen and this PicMonkey knows what size Facebook needs to have a timeline cover. This is the exact space. And over on the left you're going to notice these are all of your working buttons. So right now we are in basic edits and it is asking us what we want as a canvas color. Obviously right now our canvas color is white. So I'm going to click on this bubble and that's going to move us through our colors and I want a nice bright orange because this is Halloween. Then I'm going to click on apply. Next I want to add some fun graphics. If you will notice on the side usually you would go to the butterfly and that will bring up a bunch of graphics but I am going to use their Halloween themes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on witches because I want a hat. So you can just, I like this hat right here, so we're just going to grab this hat. That's not what I wanted to do. Usually you just click it and it adds it in there. Sorry about that. Um, so let's delete this one. So this hat isn't big enough. So when I click on it again, you see where this box comes and I'm going to grab one of the arrows and I'm just going to increase the hat until it's the size that I want it. And then if I want to move it, you just click on it again with your left mouse button and you just drag it to wherever you want. Next, I want to add I'm going to go back out to my themes and I want to add, see what else is out there. This half of the fun is just seeing everything that's available. So I'm going to add some garland across the top. I like these spider webs. So I clicked on that and see how it added this spider web. So again, I'm going to left click and I'm going to just drag it up to the top because I want to make a garland all the way across. Now you can either go down here and click on this again or you can go back up to this one and right click and it will open up this menu and you want to duplicate the overlay. When you do that it's going to bring another one right next to it and I'm just going to grab it and slide it next to it and I'm going to duplicate that one and I'm going to do that all the way across the top of my banner. And then one more. And if it hangs off the edge, it really doesn't make a difference. Okay, so there I have a spooky banner across the top. Next, I want to add some pumpkins. But you know what? I've already got this cool pumpkin hat. See down here where it says the Royale and it's got this little crown? These pumpkins are part of the paid feature. So I wouldn't be able to use these because I'm not paying for that. But I kind of like this transparent face. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to shrink it down. And I'm going to put that on my hat and make it a pumpkin hat. Ta-da! Okay, now I need to remember what the other ones looked like, so let's go back over here. Okay, so now I'm going to add some text. So organizing doesn't have to be scary. So go over here to the T's where it says text. I keep pointing to my screen. Can you see my fingers as I'm pointing? Click on text, 
and you have many, 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 many text fonts that you can select. I'm just going to use Shadows into Light. I actually like that one. And click Add Text, and that is going to bring up a text box. Click into the text box, and you're just going to type your words. Organizing doesn't have to be scary, dot, dot, dot. Now you see, um, I want to make this bigger, so I just, with my left button again, grabbed the sides. Whoops. Because I want this to be bigger. I'm going to move this up a little bit. And then when this edit box comes in, I'm going to tell it I want it to be centered. That's what these do. This is left justified, right justified, excuse me, left justified, centered, and right justified. And then I also want this font to be bigger. So if you click out of it and then click into it again, and then click on the words one more time, see how it highlighted everything. Then I'm going to go over to this size button and I'm just going to increase the size. I click out of it and then it says organizing doesn't have to be. Oh shoot, you know what? I made a mistake. Let's get this down out of the way. It's like right where I need to be. I wanted scary to be in a scary font. So let's go in here and I'm going to delete that and I'm going to add text again but this time I want it to be in this flavors font because this is like a Halloween scary font. Click on that, come back over into here and click on in my box again and I'm going to type scary. I'm going to put it all in caps with a couple of exclamation points after it. Again, I want this to be centered. I'm going to bring this underneath of my document, just kind of, or my first line, just kind of line it up, and then click out, click in again, and highlight the whole thing, and I'm going to increase the font size. Let's move that down a little bit. You know, I think I want it a little bit bigger even. Whoops, not that big. Well, you know, if I want it that big, all I need to do is increase the size of the box and move it over a little bit. And then what was the last thing I had on there? I think I just had my website. So then I'm going to add one more line of text. And now this one I want it to be relatively easy to read, so I am going to just pick this Francois one and go in, bring this down. Whoa, my computer's going wacky. Well, fine, I'll type my text first. So I'm going to put in my website. Oops, I didn't mean to add that. And now I'm going to move this down underneath again and make it bigger. Center it. Click out, click in, and just increase the font size. So this is just a super easy, very basic timeline. The last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up here and you're going to want to save it. Now the one thing about PicMonkey is that you have to make sure that this is exactly how you want it because once you save it, you can't come back in here and change things. So we're going to save and then you're going to go over here and let's call this Halloween, oops, I can spell. <laughs> It's because you're all watching me, that's why I can't spell timeline. And then you're going to save it to your computer, but what I do is I go to this down arrow so that I can tell it where exactly to save it to, and I would save this to my Dropbox. I'm not going to save this one, um, but that's what you do. 
So that is our first tutorial. I'm going to end this one and going to go make another one for you. Thank you.